Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week's video is also sponsored by Harry's. Shave it up. A few months ago, I was contacted by a viewer of Woodworking for Beer Mortals, Philip Crescian. He had just invented this delightfully quirky and geeky Fibonacci clock and asked me if I'd be interested in helping him with his Kickstarter campaign. He wanted to raise some money so that he could manufacture DIY kits that anybody could build. It didn't take long for him to just blow past his goal and was able to ship out tons of kits. Anyway, this isn't a paid sponsorship or anything. I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to make one of these for my son to take to college. You can get the kits that come complete with the electronics and the wooden enclosure. I thought it would be fun to just get the electronics and build my own enclosure. I'll show you how you tell time on this clock at the end of this video. It's kind of geeky. A long time ago, a viewer to the show gave me these pieces of curly redwood. They're just beautiful and they'll be perfect for this project. To cut these to their lengths, I'll tip the blade to 45 degree angle. When I glue these together, that will be the enclosure. The tricky part is gonna be cutting all of these grooves on the inside of these panels. The way to make sure everything lines up is to cut all of the matching grooves at the same time. That way, you don't have to adjust your rip fence. All four of these have this long groove that holds the panel that holds the lights in place, so I'll cut those first. I put this blade in my table saw because it's slightly wider than my regular table saw blade, but it's perfect for this plywood that I'm gonna use for the device. I'll lower it to less than half the depth of this board. Now once I'm happy with the depth, I don't have to adjust that on any of the grooves. Using my rip fence, I'll make a few passes to create the rabbits on the edges. I'm clamping this together temporarily so I can get a good fit on the back panel and the plexi. This is a real thin sheet of translucent acrylic. It cuts real easily on the table saw. With this clamped in place again, I can cut these dividers to size. I need to cut a notch in this thin piece of plywood that matches up with this notch. So I'll just make a mark where that goes. Even though this is a super shallow groove, it'll really help with lining up the dividers. Now I just need to make a couple more notches here and then one across here. I can mark where the holes go. Now all I need to do is hook up this string of LED lights to the circuit board that comes with the kit. First I'll separate these wires and strip a little off each end. Then the wires get screwed into this little block. Now I can test it out with this power adapter. Whoa! It's got switches on the back side that'll let me set the time. I'm not sure how to work those yet. I don't need to cut a hole in the back panel for those buttons. And while I'm here, cut a little notch for the cord. I think I'm gonna have to go with a thicker piece of plywood for the back because this doesn't fly flush against it. So if I have a thicker piece, I'll be able to cut away part of it. So I just use my drill to kind of carve away parts of that so that this can set down on there nicely. Now I can glue the enclosure together. I'm just gonna let the center panel for the lights float in the slot. I'm not gonna glue it. I'm just gonna glue the miters. I'm gonna glue this thing in now too.
I'm gonna cover these edges with a black marker. I'll finish this with spray lacquer. Now I can put the lights in. I'm gonna glue this acrylic panel into place with just a couple of spots of glue. You know what people are always asking me? Hey Steve, where did you get that luxurious shave? Nah. But that's actually a good thing because people only notice your shaving if it's a bad shave. Remember back when I was a hipster and had that beard and everybody thought I looked like Dr. House? Haha, <laughs> well the joke's on them. I shaved, I still got a show, he doesn't. But I gotta say, there was a number of reasons why I didn't shave. It was a hassle, it was uncomfortable, and it was expensive. But that was before I discovered Harry's. Now I get my razors delivered right to my front door at a fraction of the price I was paying. I get this super close luxurious extra fancy shave every day. I've been using Harry's for a long time now and I'm proud to have them as a sponsor of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. And I'd like for you to try out Harry's too and take $5 off your first order just by going to harrys.com and entering the promo code woodworking. I'm positive that once you try out Harry's and enjoy the convenience of razors coming right to your front door, you'll wonder why you didn't do this sooner. Again, go to harrys.com and enter the coupon code woodworking at checkout. And I'd like to thank Harry's for helping to make woodworking working for mere mortals possible. Okay, I've dimmed the light so you can see the clock real well, and now comes the fun part, learning how to tell time on the Fibonacci clock. It's not terribly complicated, but it takes a little while to get used to it. Thankfully, Phil has included a set of instructions along with each kit that not only tell you how to tell time, but how to set the time. The clock tells time in five minute increments. Each of these squares represents part of the Fibonacci sequence, so the small squares count as one, this square counts as two, this square counts as three, and then it jumps to this big square which has a value of 5. To determine the hour, what you do is you add up the value of the red squares and the blue squares. So in this case we'd have a value of 3 plus 2 more is 5 plus 5 more is 10. Then to determine the minutes you add the green and blue and multiply by 5. So we've got a blue value of 5, a blue value of 2, and a green value of 1. So that's 5, 7, 8 and you multiply that by five and you get 40. So the time is 1040. One thing that's kind of interesting is that the values are kind of random, so a 1045 won't always have this same pattern. <laughs> <laughs> is that geeky enough for you? It also has 10 different color palettes. Watch, you can change how, what the colors look like. I kind of like that one, the pastels. Lantern mode two. I like that one. It just slowly shifts the colors. So you could just use it as a lamp if you want or go back to clock mode. I'd like to thank Phil again for contacting me about his Kickstarter campaign. It was a pleasure to help you fund this. And if you'd like one and you don't want to build your own cabinet, you can get the entire kit. Just check down below. I'll include a link to Phil's website. Hey, remember a few years ago when I made this Fibonacci gauge? I can use it to double check, make sure I got the golden ratio correct. It's the ratio of this length to this length and I'm pretty close. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please do so. Have a great week and don't forget to catch me over on Mere Minutes this weekend. A boom box. So to use it, I'll plug this cord into the jack and plug it into my phone.